na mtazamaji baada ya kuibuka mshindi katika kinyang'anyiro cha urais wa chama cha mawakili nchini LSK Faith Aoko Moni Odiambo mm -hmm. ambaye sasa ndiye mwakilishi wa pili kuchaguliwa mwenyekiti wa mawakili Kenya amezungumza na NTV kuhusu safari yake katika kuwinda cheo hicho kutoka kwa mtangulizi wake bwana Eric Deuri. Mm, alikuwa na mwanahabari wetu nani Martin Mwangi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was jittery. I thought it would be a tight race um, between the two of us um, and the margin would be quite small. But when I saw the results, particularly from Supreme Court and Milimani, I knew this was, this was gone. Well, social media actually was a huge game changer this time in terms of reaching out to as many people as you can. There are people who are not in the general WhatsApp groups. People who are not on Facebook, some are just on Instagram, some are on Twitter. And this campaign required reaching out through all media. And it, I don't think it was tipped to the favor of the girl child. Um, it was just a lot of hard work that I commend also to my two other worthy competitors. We had to just delve um, to work harder, reach out further as much as possible because it wasn't uh, a gender agenda. His endorsement um, or his support was uh, favorable, I believe. Though, you know, it depends on the side of divide. Some would find it negative because he's a political head. Others found it positive. And what I'm just happy didn't affect us negatively. My first 100 days, I want to focus on the strategy that we have to implement on review of policy to ensure that the kind of laws that are coming out um, do not affect not only the members of the public but the profession and they are not um, unconstitutional. My message to the head of state would be that he allows the three arms of government to carry out their work, particularly the judiciary. An assault by the head of state against the judiciary derodes the confidence that the members of the public have towards the judiciary.